Eva Gabor, the Hungarian-American actress, first gained fame for her role as Lisa Douglas in the popular TV show Green Acres. She also lent her voice to the character Bianca in the animated films The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. Despite achieving great success in Hollywood, Gabor's personal life was fraught with difficulties, including multiple failed marriages and the tragic loss of her younger sister. Spanning several decades, her career included many film appearances and television guest spots, making her a beloved figure in the industry. Yet, few knew of the challenges she faced off-screen. Eva Gabor was born in Budapest, Hungary on February 11, 1919, into a family of entertainers. She was the youngest of the three Gabor sisters, all of whom would find success in the entertainment industry. Her father, Vilmos Gabor, was a soldier and a jeweler, while her mother, Jolie, was an heiress to the Hungarian jewelry fortune. Growing up, Eva was surrounded by wealth and privilege. However, an economic downturn impacted the family, leading to a different upbringing for Eva compared to her older sisters. Despite the family's financial struggles, the Gabors remained determined to maintain their social status. As a result, Eva and her sisters were expected to marry well and continue the family's legacy in high society. However, Eva had other plans. From a young age, she was drawn to the world of acting and dreamt of making a name for herself in Hollywood. After finishing school, Eva pursued her passion for acting, studying drama in Austria before moving to the United States in the late 1930s. Although she faced obstacles along the way, including language barriers and discrimination, Eva persevered and eventually found success in Hollywood. Over the years, she appeared in numerous films and television shows, becoming one of the most beloved actresses of her time. Throughout her career, Eva remained grateful for her humble beginnings, which taught her the value of hard work and determination. And despite her fame and fortune, she never forgot where she came from, always staying true to her roots and maintaining a deep love for her native Hungary. Today, Eva Gabor is remembered not only for her incredible talent, but also for her resilience, determination, and unwavering spirit. In 1939, at just 17 years old, Eva Gabor embarked on a significant life change by marrying Swedish doctor Eric Drimmer. This young marriage led to an unexpected move to Hollywood, a place far removed from her native Hungary. Initially, the actress found herself exploring various interests, unaware of the path that would ultimately capture her heart. As Eva began to navigate the bustling streets of Hollywood, she stumbled upon a hidden passion, acting. However, breaking into the industry proved challenging for the young actress. Her youthful appearance and linguistic barriers created obstacles that required perseverance to overcome. Despite these setbacks, Eva remained determined to make a name for herself in the competitive world of cinema. Through dedication and hard work, the actress slowly started making progress in her career. As she honed her craft, Eva developed a unique style that captivated audiences worldwide. Although it took time and effort, she eventually became known for her exceptional talent and charm. Today, her contributions continue to resonate with fans who appreciate this classic star's lasting impact on the entertainment landscape. In the late 30s, Eva Gabor embarked on her journey into the world of acting with small roles in two Paramount films, Force Landing and Pacific Blackout. These early opportunities, though not commercially successful, proved instrumental in propelling the actress towards greater heights. Despite their lackluster performance at the box office, these films held significant value as stepping stones for the aspiring artist. They provided her with much needed exposure and experience essential for honing her craft. Thus began the sowing of seeds that would eventually bloom into a prosperous career for the young actress. Eva Gabor's career took a significant turn with her appearance in the CBS television play L.A. Amour the Marrier in 1949. This performance gained the notice of influential figures in the industry, including Richard Rogers. He was so impressed by the actress that he offered her a role in his upcoming production, The Happy Time. The Happy Time marked a pivotal moment in Eva Gabor's professional journey. Her portrayal of the character received critical acclaim and opened doors for further opportunities in the entertainment industry. Before this breakthrough, she had already made a name for herself in smaller roles, but nothing compared to what this part brought her way. This classic Broadway musical required immense talent and dedication from its cast members, especially those like Eva who were relatively new to the scene. But she rose to the occasion and delivered a memorable performance. As per critics' reviews, it seemed like the actress had been born for this very role. With each passing day on set, she grew more comfortable and confident, delivering lines with ease while captivating audiences with her charisma. 
Her work did not go unnoticed, and after the successful run of The Happy Time, Eva became a sought-after personality in both theater and later in TV shows too. Thus began an illustrious career spanning several decades during which she would become synonymous with grace, elegance, and impeccable comedic timing, all traits evident even in her early performances. After making a name for herself in Hollywood, the actress Eva Gabor landed a starring role in the Broadway play The Happy Time in 1950. This production marked a significant turning point in her career, running for 18 months and cementing her status as a skilled performer. In The Happy Time, Eva Gabor took on the part of Monique, delivering a praised performance that earned her considerable recognition and critical acclaim. Following the success of The Happy Time, Eva Gabor was inspired to explore new opportunities in the entertainment industry. She went on to host her own television show, titled simply The Eva Gabor Show. Airing in the early 1950s, this program further boosted her profile and solidified her place as a beloved figure in American popular culture. Through The Eva Gabor Show, she became a familiar, and comforting presence in the living rooms of countless households across the country. As time passed, both The Happy Time and The Eva Gabor Show came to be regarded as classics of their respective mediums. These productions stand as testaments to the talent and versatility of the actress who brought them to life, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. To this day, fans of Eva Gabor continue to cherish these timeless pieces of entertainment, grateful for the opportunity to step into her world and experience her unique charm and charisma firsthand. Not many know that actress Eva Gabor once shared the screen with horror legend Boris Karloff in a television adaptation of Anton Chekhov's Uncle Vanya. This classic play was brought to life by these two talented performers, providing viewers with a unique blend of drama and star power. Despite facing personal and professional challenges throughout her career, Eva Gabor always found solace in the company of her beloved sisters. They remained close, often gracing magazine covers and sharing stages together. Their bond was unbreakable, transcending the ups and downs of their respective careers. One notable instance saw them appear together on the popular game show What's My Line. Here, they demonstrated their sisterly camaraderie and shared sense of humor, much to the delight of audiences everywhere. Even when faced with adversity, the Gabor sisters stood strong, supporting each other through thick and thin. This tale of collaboration and fame reminds us that even in Hollywood, family bonds can provide strength and comfort amidst chaos. Through their appearances in various productions and public events, the Gabors have left an indelible mark on both the entertainment industry and our hearts. Until next time, let us continue to celebrate the lives and achievements of remarkable figures like Eva Gabor. Additionally, she continued her love for acting, appearing in stage productions and films throughout the 1950s and early 1960s. One of her notable performances came in The Last Time I Saw Paris in 1954, where her charm added depth to the emotional storyline. The following year, she lit up the screen in artists and models, showcasing her comedic talent alongside top stars. In 1958, she took part in Gigi, a beloved musical that enchanted audiences, allowing her to shine in a different light. Later, in 1964, she starred in Young Blood Hawk, further solidifying her place in Hollywood. Each role allowed the actress to explore new dimensions of her craft, captivating viewers with her elegance and grace. Eva Gabor, already an established actress, found stability and success in her career with the television series Green Acres. She played the character of Lisa Douglas, which brought her considerable recognition and admiration from audiences. In this classic series, Lisa and her husband Oliver, portrayed by Eddie Albert, moved from the bustling city of New York to the peaceful countryside of Hooterville to become farmers. This shift in setting was a deliberate flip of the popular show, The Beverly Hillbillies, and it paid off. High ratings and critical acclaim followed, making Green Acres a beloved part of television history. As the show progressed, viewers grew fond of the Douglas family and their fish-out-of-water experiences in Hooterville. Despite coming from a sophisticated background, Lisa embraced her new lifestyle with enthusiasm and grace. Her character became a symbol of resilience and adaptability, inspiring many fans during its six-season run. This classic sitcom also boasted clever writing and memorable performances from its supporting cast. Characters like Hanley Boardman, Sam Drucker, and Arnold Ziffel added layers of humor and charm to the storylines, complementing the comedic talents of Eva Gabor and her co-stars. Together, they created a delightful tapestry of American culture that resonates even today. 
In the height of her career, Eva Gabor was frequently recognized as one of television's most admired stars during her run on the beloved series, Green Acres. Her commitment and tireless effort poured into the show were widely acknowledged by both audiences and critics alike. Away from Green Acres, the actress also contributed her distinctive vocal talent to animation, portraying Bianca in Disney's animated classics The Rescuers and its sequel The Rescuers Down Under. With her elegant and charming demeanor, she brought grace and charm to the character. Throughout her illustrious career, Eva Gabor graced various other TV shows with her presence through guest appearances, which numbered more than two dozen. Among these shows include Bonanza, where she played a woman looking for love, and Fantasy Island, where she embodied different roles across multiple episodes. These performances further solidified her status as a sought-after talent in Hollywood. From sitcoms to dramas, she demonstrated versatility and adaptability while maintaining her unique charisma. In her 70s, the actress Eva Gabor demonstrated her enduring love for acting when she reprised her iconic role as Lisa Douglas in the television movie Return to Green Acres in 1990. This classic show, which originally aired from 1965 to 1971, had captured audiences with its humor and wit, making it a beloved staple of American television. Throughout her career, Eva Gabor graced both the small and big screens, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. However, her personal life was more complex than her on-screen persona would suggest. She was married five times, each marriage ending in divorce a reflection of the challenges and intricacies she faced off-camera. Despite these difficulties, Eva Gabor remained committed to her craft and continued to captivate audiences until the end of her illustrious career. Her performance in Return to Green Acres served as a testament to her talent and dedication, proving that some stars never fade away. Eva Gabor, the actress known for her work in film and television, had several marriages throughout her life. Her first marriage was to Eric Drimmer, which ended in 1942. Following this, she married millionaire Charles Isaacs, but their union came to an end in 1950. In 1956, Eva walked down the aisle again, this time with plastic surgeon John Williams. However, even a medical professional couldn't make this marriage last, and it ended just eight months later. The actress then moved on to marry Richard Brown, a Wall Street stockbroker, in 1960. Their marriage lasted until 1973 when they decided to part ways. Finally, Eva tied the knot with Frank Jameson, an aerospace mogul, in 1973. This marriage proved to be her longest, lasting 10 years before coming to an end. Throughout her life, Eva Gabor experienced love and loss through these five marriages. Each one brought its own unique challenges and joys, shaping her into the person she became. On July 4, 1995, the world said goodbye to actress Eva Gabor. Her passing, caused by a respiratory infection, marked the closing chapter of an era for both the Gabor sisters and the entertainment industry. The actress, born in Hungary, had already made a name for herself in Hollywood before her untimely death. With her distinctive voice and undeniable charm, she captivated audiences in various films and television shows throughout her career. Among her most notable roles were those in G. Green Acres and The Respectables. Her contributions extended beyond acting, however, as a fashion icon, she graced numerous magazine covers and became a household name. She also authored several books, sharing her insights into style, beauty, and life. When the actress passed away, she left behind a legacy that continues to resonate today. Fans still remember her fondly for her work in classics like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, where she starred alongside Marilyn Monroe. It was at Westwood Memorial Park in Los Angeles, where Eva Gubor found her final resting place. There, amidst other luminaries of the entertainment industry, she lies peacefully, leaving behind memories of laughter and joy. Indeed, the actress may have left this world, but her impact remains palpable. And so, we continue to cherish the gifts she bestowed upon us through her artistry and grace. Rest in peace, Eva Gabor, a true talent who has left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Eva Gabor's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, many years after she first stepped into the spotlight. As a talented actress, she graced both the small and big screens, leaving behind a body of work that continues to captivate audiences. Throughout her career, the actress showed her versatility by taking on a wide range of roles. She was equally comfortable playing glamorous socialites as she was portraying more down-to-earth characters. Her ability to convincingly slip into different personas made her a favorite among directors and producers. Gabor's contributions to television were particularly notable. 
she starred in several popular shows, including Green Acres, where she played the charming and spirited Lisa Douglas. With her unique blend of elegance and humor, the actress quickly became a household name and endeared herself to fans around the world. But Gabor's talents weren't limited to just acting. She also lent her voice to various animated projects, including Disney's The Aristocats. In addition, the actress was known for her love of fashion and design, often appearing on talk shows to discuss the latest trends and offer style advice. Despite passing away in 1995, Eva Gabor's legacy remains alive and well. Her work continues to resonate with new generations of viewers who appreciate her talent, grace, and wit. Whether through reruns of her beloved TV shows or screenings of her films, the actress's influence can still be seen and felt today. Indeed, it's hard to overstate the significance of Eva Gabor's contributions to the entertainment industry. From her groundbreaking performances to her timeless sense of style, the actress left an indelible mark that will forever be etched in our memories. And while she may no longer be with us, her work serves as a testament to her enduring talent and appeal. In the glamorous world of Hollywood, Eva Gabor stood out as a luminous star, leaving behind a legacy that continues to shine brightly even today. Born on February 11, 1919, in Budapest, Hungary, she was destined for greatness from the start. As part of the renowned Gabor family, she had acting in her blood, but it was her talent, charm, and determination that truly set her apart. Eva began her journey in the entertainment industry in Europe before setting sail for America in the late 1930s. She quickly made a name for herself as a captivating actress, appearing in numerous films throughout the 1940s and 1950s. However, it wasn't until she landed the iconic role of Lisa Douglas on the hit television show Green Acres that she became a household name. Her performance resonated with audiences and solidified her place as a beloved pop culture figure. Despite being known primarily for her comedic roles, Eva also proved herself to be a versatile actress capable of tackling dramatic parts with ease. With over 60 film and TV credits to her name, her impact on the industry remains indelible. Yet. Beyond her career achievements, Eva left behind something equally precious, a warm and generous spirit that touched everyone who knew her. Fast forward to 1978, when Eva decided to try her hand at another passion project, designing clothing and accessories. Once again, she dazzled fans with her unique sense of style and grace. Ever the entrepreneur, Eva continued to expand her brand, launching several successful product lines including perfumes, dolls, and home goods. As we celebrate Eva Giabor's life and contributions, let us remember not just the talented artist, but also the kind-hearted woman who brought joy to so many. Through her work, both on screen and off, she has etched an enduring mark in our collective memory, one that will continue to inspire generations to come. Eva Gabor was born into a wealthy Hungarian family on February 11, 1919. Her parents, Vilmos and Janka Gabor, raised her in Budapest alongside her two sisters, Magda and Zesesa. Despite their affluent background, the Gabor daughters were encouraged to pursue creative pursuits. From a young age, Eva developed a love for acting and performing. She often attended theater productions with her mother and began taking drama lessons in her teens. After completing her education in Europe, Eva decided to move to America to further her career. Once in the United States, Eva found success quickly. She started out working in radio before moving on to film and television. One of her earliest roles was in the 1949 movie Model Wife. However, it wasn't until she landed the role of Lisa Douglas on the hit TV show Green Acres that she became a household name. Throughout her career, Eva worked with many notable actors and directors who influenced her style and approach to acting. Among them were Bob Hope, Gene Kelly, and Billy Wilder. But perhaps one of the most significant influencers in Eva's life was her sister, Zaya Sa, who had already established herself as a successful actress by the time Eva arrived in Hollywood. Zaya Sa helped introduce Eva to influential people in the industry and provided guidance and support along the way. With Zaya Sa's encouragement, Eva continued to take risks and push boundaries throughout her career, never shying away from challenging roles or new experiences. Despite facing numerous challenges, including language barriers and discrimination due to her accent, Eva persevered and built a lasting legacy in Hollywood. Today, she is remembered not just for her work, but also for her wit, charm, and timeless elegance. Initially, Eva Gabor found her passion for acting during her childhood in Hungary, where she would put on performances for her family. Her early love for storytelling took shape when she participated in school plays 
capturing the attention of her teachers with her lively spirit. As a young girl, she often imitated the glamorous movie stars she saw in the cinema, dreaming of one day being like them. This passion ignited further when she moved to Paris and encountered the world of theater. One vivid memory involved watching a captivating performance that left her spellbound. She realized at that moment that she wanted to create that same magic for others. Her journey took a significant turn when she landed her first role in a stage production. The thrill of performing in front of an audience and receiving their applause solidified her desire to pursue acting professionally. Each experience, from small roles to major productions, fueled her ambition and led her to Hollywood, where she would shine in television and film. Born in Budapest, Hungary, in 1919, Eva Gabor was one of three sisters who would all become actresses. Yet, her journey to success wasn't easy. Financial struggles were common during her childhood due to post-World War I poverty. To help support her family, she worked as a salesgirl in a fashion store before pursuing acting. When Eva decided to become an actress, Hollywood was biased against European actors, making it difficult for her to find roles initially. But being resourceful, she took up elocution lessons to lose her accent and studied drama under renowned teachers. This dedication paid off when she landed minor parts in films like Force March. Despite getting small roles, industry skepticism persisted. However, rather than letting this discourage her, Eva used it as motivation to work harder. She started attending parties and events where influential people from the film industry gathered, gradually building connections and gaining recognition. One significant breakthrough came when she got cast in the Broadway production The Happy Time, which led to more substantial roles in both theater and television. Later, she starred in the hit TV show Green Acres, cementing her place as a beloved comedic actress. Despite facing numerous obstacles early on, Eva Gabor's determination and creativity paved the way for her successful career. Eva Gabor's breakthrough moment came in 1965, when she starred in the hit television show Green Acres. Despite having a successful career before this, Green Acres propelled her to new heights of fame. As Lisa Douglas, the glamorous wife of Oliver Wendell Douglas, played by Eddie Albert, Gabor won over audiences with her comedic timing and charm. Critics took notice of Gabor's performance as well. One critic wrote, Eva Gabor shines as Lisa Douglas, bringing humor and grace to the role. Peers also praised her work, with actress Mary Tyler Moore saying, Eva had a unique ability to make every scene funnier just by being in it. The success of Green Acres led to greater opportunities for Gabor, both on and off the screen. She became a household name and a symbol of sophistication and style. Her impact on popular culture can still be felt today with the show remaining a classic example of 1960s sitcoms. Gabor continued to act in various projects after Green Acres, but her role as Lisa Douglas remains one of her most iconic and beloved performances. Her legacy as an accomplished actress and cultural icon lives on through her work and the memories of those who were touched by her talent. Eva Gabor, best known for her role on the television show Green Acres, had a unique artistic vision and process. She approached each character she played with great care, studying their motivations and backgrounds to create fully realized performances. Her distinctive Hungarian accent added depth and charm to her roles, making them all the more memorable. Gabor's personal experiences undoubtedly influenced her work. Born in Budapest in 1919, she lived through World War II and eventually moved to the United States, where she became a successful actress. These life events gave her a deep understanding of struggle, resilience, and the importance of pursuing one's dreams. Her worldview was also reflected in her work. Gabor believed in the power of laughter and used humor to connect with audiences and convey deeper messages. She often chose roles that allowed her to challenge stereotypes and break down barriers, inspiring others to do the same. One notable example of this is her portrayal of Lisa Douglas on Green Acres. At a time when traditional gender roles were still prevalent, Gabor's character was a wealthy socialite who willingly gives up her luxurious lifestyle to move to the countryside with her husband. Through Lisa, Gabor challenged societal expectations and encouraged viewers to think beyond conventional norms. Overall, Eva Gabor's unique style and approach to acting made her a beloved figure in Hollywood. Her ability to infuse her characters with depth, humanity, and humor left a lasting impact on both the industry and its audience. Moreover, Eva Gabor brought a unique charm to her roles, particularly through her time on the television show Green Acres. Her portrayal of Lisa Douglas, a glamorous city woman adapting to country life, 
highlighted a contrast between sophistication and simplicity. Critics often noted how her character's humorous takes on rural living made viewers rethink traditional gender roles and urban versus rural dynamics. In addition, Gabor's distinctive voice and comedic timing influenced many actresses who followed. Industry experts have pointed out how her style paved the way for characters that combined elegance with a light-hearted approach. For instance, modern shows often feature characters that echo Gabor's blend of charm and wit. Her work in film, such as The Lady from Shanghai, showcased her ability to switch between different genres while maintaining her unique flair. Aspiring actresses have cited Gabor as an inspiration for blending glamour with humor, showing them that one can be both stylish and relatable. Furthermore, her contributions to the beauty industry through her own line of wigs also set trends in personal style and grooming. Gabor's influence extended beyond acting into fashion, impacting how women approached beauty in the 20th century. Many still recall her trademark hairstyle, which has inspired countless imitations and variations over the years. As her legacy continues to inspire today's entertainers, Eva Gabor remains an enduring figure in the industry, with her influence felt in both storytelling and style. Transitioning away from the spotlight, Eva Gabor led a private life filled with personal values and interests that informed her work. She was known for her love of fashion and design, often showcased through her various endorsements and collaborations. In fact, she even launched her own wig line, reflecting her belief in promoting beauty and confidence among women. Moreover, Eva was deeply committed to several charitable causes throughout her lifetime. She actively supported animal rights organizations like the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Her passion for animals extended beyond mere support as she rescued numerous dogs and cats over the years. Additionally, Eva used her platform to raise awareness for environmental conservation, recognizing the importance of preserving our planet's natural resources. Her dedication to these causes transcended her acting career, demonstrating that her impact reached far beyond Hollywood. By advocating for issues close to her heart, Eva left an indelible mark on both the entertainment industry and society at large. As we delve deeper into her story, it becomes evident that her personal values shaped not only her public persona, but also her contributions to the world around her. Ultimately, Eva Gabor proved that one can maintain privacy while still making a significant difference in the lives of others. Let's talk about Eva Gabor, the actress known for her work in film, television, and theater. Born on February 11, 1919, in Budapest, Hungary, she started her career in the 1940s after moving to the United States. She quickly made a name for herself as a talented and captivating performer. Eva was best known for her role as Lisa Douglas in the popular TV show Green Acres, which ran from 1965 to 1971. But she also had many other notable roles throughout her career, including appearances in films like Gigi and The Respectables. Her talent extended beyond acting. She was also an accomplished fashion designer and businesswoman. Despite passing away in 1995, Eva Gabor's impact on the entertainment industry remains strong today. Many young actors still look up to her as an inspiration and role model. So what can we learn from her legacy? Here are some pieces of advice for aspiring professionals in the field. Firstly, always stay true to yourself. Eva never let anyone else define who she was or what she wanted out of life. She knew what mattered most to her and pursued it wholeheartedly. Secondly, don't be afraid to take risks. Throughout her career, Eva took on new challenges and pushed herself outside of her comfort zone. This helped her grow as an artist and led to some truly remarkable performances. Finally, remember that success isn't just about talent, it's also about hard work and dedication. Eva worked tirelessly to perfect her craft and build a successful career. She understood that achieving greatness requires patience, persistence, and passion. So if you're looking to make your mark in the world of acting or any other profession, follow these three pieces of advice. Stay true to yourself, take risks, and put in the effort required to succeed. Eva Gabor, born to a wealthy family in Budapest, Hungary, in 1919, was always drawn to the arts. Contrasting her two elder sisters, Magda and Cesza, who also became famous actresses, Eva's grace and charm set her apart. She started her career in Europe, but gained prominence when she moved to America. Fluent in various languages, Eva's unique accent added an exotic allure to her roles. In 1965, she brought laughter to many households as Lisa Douglas, the socialite wife in the popular TV show Green Acres. Despite being typecast as an elegant European woman, 
Eva embraced these parts wholeheartedly, infusing them with depth and humor. Apart from acting, Eva left an indelible mark through her activism. A fervent animal lover, she advocated tirelessly for pet rights and even founded the American Cancer Society's Fund for Animals. Her compassion extended beyond our planet too. She actively supported space exploration. Eva Gabor passed away in 1995, leaving behind a legacy worth remembering. Throughout her life, she remained passionate about entertaining people while championing causes close to her heart. Let us appreciate how one person can create such a profound ripple effect by simply pursuing what they love and standing firm in their beliefs. Indeed, it underscores the immense power held by creativity and persistence. Let's take a moment to remember actress Eva Gabor, known for her charm and wit both on and off screen. Born on February 11, 1919, in Budapest, Hungary, she was part of a talented family that included her sisters Magda and Zsa Zsa, also notable figures in Hollywood. Eva began her career in the late 1930s, gracing the stages of European theaters before making her way to America. In the 1950s and 60s, she became a familiar face on television, appearing in popular shows like Green Acres, where she played the socialite wife of a farmer, showcasing her comedic talents. Throughout her life, Eva embraced various roles, not just as an actress, but also as a businesswoman and fashion icon. She launched her own perfume line and even designed a clothing collection, reflecting her impeccable taste and style. Now it's your turn to join the conversation. What do you think about Eva Gabor's impressive body of work? Share your memories or favorite performances in the comments below. And don't forget to spread the love by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content dedicated to the remarkable people who have shaped our entertainment world. Together, let's celebrate these inspiring individuals.